The challenges to mainstream media continue to mount. First, it was digital disruption. Then, it was fake news. And then, in the United States, came President Trump. Martin Barron is the executive editor of the Washington Post. We met him at the Gen Summit 2017 in Vienna and asked him, how should journalists deal with fake news when it comes from the government? Well, I mean, I think our job is to verify facts. And so we have, for example, a staff of fact checkers and we regularly do stories on what the president has said, what other politicians have said, uh, what other prominent individuals have said to determine whether they're true or not. We do thorough research and then we publish the results. We also keep track of all of the statements that the president has made that where we've done fact checks. Some on, in some instances, we've said they were true. In the vast majority of instances that we've looked at, we have found uh, various forms of falsehood, either completely false or partially false or something like that. So uh, I think our job is just to do fact checking and uh, that's what we, we're going to do and provide the information to the public and uh, uh, that's our responsibility. As much as any news organization, the Washington Post has been facing the challenges attached to fake news. Barron argues it is the journalist's responsibility to carry on holding the government accountable. People may perceive us as being adversarial, but I still think that we have our responsibility and we have to stick to our responsibility, certainly in the United States, the reason that we have a First Amendment, uh, the reason that it was written by uh, our founders, particularly James Madison, uh, was to hold the government accountable. So that is central to our mission, that's central to our purpose as journalism. I don't think we should abandon that. I don't think the public would, uh, would approve of that. Uh, they wouldn't forgive us for that. Uh, I think that we always have to hold the government accountable regardless of, regardless of whether the president is Donald Trump or anyone else. The Washington Post newsroom leader argued that fake news is a concern, but he is confident it won't last over time. Well, I don't think fake news is the future of news. I mean, I think that it's a phenomenon that we're facing right now. I think it's a major concern. Uh, certainly with the internet, uh, any media site can come into existence. They can spread whatever information they choose to spread, uh, false information in this instance, or conspiracy theories. Um, and sometimes people who um, will accept that because it conforms to their pre-existing worldview. Uh, but I think over time, credible uh, news organizations will prevail. Uh, people will see that we're doing real research, that we're doing a thorough job. Uh, we'll be more transparent about how we go about our work, uh, what we're basing our work on. And I think that organizations like Google and Facebook are now seriously focused on this subject and are going to value the institutions that can be more transparent about their work and show that they are uh, actually based in, in real in facts and in reporting uh, and that those are the organizations that have the greatest credibility.